Expectations are high. They are high for the United States, perhaps even more so for Russia to deliver on the promise of this moment. This is not a game, and I said that to my friend Sergei when we talked about it initially. It has to be real. It has to be comprehensive. It has to be verifiable. It has to be credible. It has to be timely and implemented in a timely fashion. And finally, there ought to be consequences if it doesn't take place. Diplomacy is and always has been President Obama's and this administration's first resort. And achieving a peaceful resolution is clearly preferable to military action. President Obama has said that again and again. Now, it's too early to tell whether or not these efforts will succeed, but the technical challenges of, of trying to do this in the context of the Civil War are obviously immense. But despite how difficult this is, with the collaboration of our experts, and only with the compliance from the Assad regime, we do believe there is a way to get this done. We have come here to define a potential path forward that we can share with our international partners. And together, we will test the Assad regime's commitment to follow through on its promises. We are serious, Mr. Foreign Minister, we are serious, as you are, about engaging in substantive, meaningful negotiations, even as our military maintains its current posture to keep up the pressure on the Assad regime. Only the credible threat of force and the intervention of President Putin and Russia based on that has brought the Assad regime to acknowledge for the first time that it even has chemical weapons and an arsenal and that it is now prepared to relinquish it. President Obama has made clear that should diplomacy fail, force might be necessary to deter and degrade Assad's capacity to deliver these weapons. It won't get rid of them, but it could change his willingness to use them. The best thing to do, we agree, is remove them altogether. Our challenge here in Geneva is to test the viability of placing Assad's chemical weapons under international control, removing them from Syria, and destroying them forever. But the United States has also made clear that the deaths of more than 100,000 Syrians and the displacement of millions, either internally or as refugees, remains a stain on the world's conscience. 